So apparently the happy couple, Danny Cohn and Mikey Tua, came to my hometown of Las Vegas and got married, but that might not exactly be true. And as always, there's some lessons we can learn from this. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul, where we talk about the problem, but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I try to do is pull different topics from YouTube or pop culture or movies or TV shows and see what we can learn from them. So if you're into that kind of stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. So yeah, it was announced not that long ago that Danny Cohn was pregnant and I thought she was 15. Some of you are saying she's like 13. I don't know, it seems like there's a lot of stuff going on about her age. I don't know, hopefully she's at least 15, but either way, it's an awful situation. So anyways, um, yeah, they recently came out to Las Vegas and they got married because as you know, here in Las Vegas, you do not need to be a resident to come out here and get married. And you can get one of those themed weddings like they did with Elvis Presley, which, which by the way, I thought was very weird and awkward because they are both so young and I doubt they even got the Elvis Presley references that were going on. Hell, I'm 33 years old and I barely get those references. So anyways, and by the way, this is gonna lead into a bigger topic that I wanna talk about with YouTubers, influence, and some things like that. But anyways, I, I was uh, sitting here and I live in Las Vegas and I know that some of the laws are different here. Um, so I wanted to see, I was like, can you get married at that age, whether they're 15 or 13 because usually like like for like tattoos for example usually you can do it with a parent's consent right so i'm like okay well danny cone's mom is clear clearly involved in this so maybe she like signed off and said yeah cool they can get married or whatever and i went up and i i looked up the nevada laws and no no you can't so the legal age of marriage in nevada in the state of nevada is 18 years old with a parent's consent is 16 years old So whether Danielle Cohn is 15 or 13, it is illegal to get married. So this whole thing was a hoax. Meh. But anyways, you can check out you know the laws down below. I'll link it down in the description. But why does this matter? Why does this matter? So when I look at things like that, when I look at young YouTubers and people doing whatever it is to get views and come up and things like that, I look at it as the perspective of a father as well as somebody who's just always looking at society as a whole and what people are doing, right? So first, let's talk about why there are laws uh, uh, for age limits, okay? The primary reason is, and a lot of people don't get this, but it's actually based on the fact that the brain does not fully mature until your mid to late 20s, okay? Like, this is why, like, there's a drinking age, there's a driving age, there's an age to join the military, there's an age to get married. There are so many age limits. And something that's been brought up regularly too is that young people, even younger than Danielle Cohn's age, or Mikey Tua, <laughs> am I saying that right? It might be Mikey Tua. Um, children have a problem separating fiction from reality, okay? This is one of the reasons why I encourage like parents to watch what their kids are watching, see what they're watching so they can have conversations about that, all right? So to that young audience, like, it is influencing them, making them think that this is real, this is a good idea, okay? But anyways, there is a reason why there's age limits on this. So the issue that comes up with this is, like, look at people like Jake Paul, look at people like Logan Paul, look at kids like Morgs, right? Who are making these fake videos for views and look at who their target demographic is, okay? And what we're seeing is, and this is just gonna keep happening with the positive reinforcement that all of these YouTubers get. It's gonna keep happening. Like, I hate, to say it, but the reason why Logan Paul filmed a body in Japan was because he got caught up in the in the mindset of do anything for views, right? And like that is how these really dumb mistakes happen. But then you look at his brother Jake Paul, who people say isn't as bad, right? But I constantly look at when Jake Paul um, did that whole like fake 
killer clown kidnapping when he was still with Erica Costell, and how many children thought that this was real, right? But then you have kids like Morgs, who's come up on YouTube, and he has like millions of subscribers, I think. He is constantly making fake videos for kids. Now, there's no like laws or anything about that on YouTube. But when you're watching a TV show, like you know whether it's reality TV or it's actors or it's cartoons or whatever, on YouTube, the lines just continue to blur and overlap all the time, right? Like one day somebody might have a real vlog, the next day they might do something fake. Real fake, real fake, real fake. And it's hard to distinguish the two. So when you look at somebody like Danny Cohn, who's young, you see like, who is she looking up to? What YouTubers are she look, is she looking up to to aspire to be, right? When you look at these other YouTubers who have more subscribers than her, why do you think she's doing the things that she's doing? And all this is doing is it continues the cycle. This is the same thing we see with parenting, right? Like kids who have messed up parents are more likely to turn into messed up parents. You know what I mean? So when you have the biggest YouTubers on the platform, some of the biggest YouTubers, being a bad influence to the younger generation coming up, you get people like Danny Cohn doing anything they can for views. And her and Mikey know the game. They know the game very well. They've broken this up into a four part series and they're bouncing the views back and forth. First video was on Mikey's channel. Next video was on the Danielle Cohn channel. Next video is on Mikey's channel. The next one's gonna be on Danielle Cohn's channel. So that way they're both benefiting from it and the YouTube algorithm loves that and all sorts of stuff, right? But anyways, we need to look at this and think about what the younger generation is seeing and they're, they're getting these ideas that it's okay to lie to get views, it's okay to make a spectacle to get views. And it makes it even more difficult for young people to distinguish as well, since Danny Cohn, I believe, I don't know, like this makes me wonder about this too, but I believe she actually is pregnant at that young age. So when you're constantly, again, when you're constantly intertwining this style of videos back and forth, it makes it very hard for children to distinguish. All right, but anyways, anyways, that's what I want to talk about in this video. Let me know your thoughts on this down below. Let me know what you think about YouTubers going back and forth between real and fake videos and how you think it influences young people as well as the next generation of YouTubers. But anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell because I make a ton of videos. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You are all amazing. And if you would like to become a patron, get involved in our monthly Q&A, get some other perks and benefits, you can click or tap right there, all right? Thank you so, so much for watching. I'll see you next time.